Welcome to my channel, The Moody Pages. Um, we're getting a, a video up a little late today. We're we're doing books I want to read in November, and quite honestly, some of these have already been read. <laughs> um, but I won't tell you which ones. You can figure out later, or if you can tell by my Instagram stories, um, which one has already been read, which few have already been read. So I have. Um, Mainly, like, I want to show, like, the committed books that I have to read. Like, or at least that I've, like, okay, let, let me rephrase. I am committed to reading Archer's Voice this month, um, solely because this is our book babes book of the month. Um, I mean, I'm not too fond of romance, like, a contemporary romance rom-coms a little bit um but there's something about contemporary rom romances that just make me cringe and mainly it's just because the males are like <sighs> they're like everything's based in real life right so the red flags that you typically see in like the fantasy romances can't really be excused because it's real life like but give me like a vampire or like a demon or some like fae with some red flags that that's okay but not not a real life one so we'll see um i have a friend who already read this and her insta is book and snap and she loved this and recommended this to me so it's been on my tbr for a little bit so it, like i'm not saying that i it's not that i don't want to read this because i do it's just it's not my pri it wasn't my priority until it was our pick. So a little bit about it is I wanted to lose myself in the small town of Pelion, Maine. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, to forget everything I'd left behind. The sound of rain, the blood, the coldness of a gun against my skin. For six months each breath has been a reminder that I survived and my dad didn't. I'm almost safe again but the moment I meet Archer Hale my entire world tilts on its axis and it's never and it <laughs> and never writes itself again. Until I trespass into his strange, silent, isolated world, Archer communicates with no one. Yet in his whiskey colored eye, something intangible happens between us. There's so much more to him than just his beauty, his presence, or the way his hands communicate with me. On me. But this town is mired in secrets and betrayals, and Archer is the explosive center of it all. So much passion and so much hurt, but it's in Archer's silence that we might just find what we need to heal and to live. So I'll be reading this this month. Um, we'll see how this goes. I think I'm gonna do a vlog on this one. Okay, had to take a quick pause to take care of the dogs. So the other commitments I wanted to read, and they're not necessarily commitments, it's just like mental commitments <laughs> in my head, but there's quite a few books that I just recently got and they are like the last one to, excuse me, like the last one in the series to be published. Like this is Glow from Raven Kennedy. <laughs> the um I think this is number four or five I think it's four in the series um I got the Waterstone edition so that was pretty cool that it's like sprayed edges and I'm pretty sure this is like Elsa sign so kind of cool um but anyways this I wanted I want to read this and I have two other books that just recently came out let me grab them these twisted bonds here's like the this one's from the bookish box but this one I wanted to read and uh this is the last one in the trilogy so this is definitely like one I want to read because it's the last one of the series you know this girl's trying to um save her sister isn't that like how it always is a girl someone's trying to save their sibling um and then you know love triangle sort of situation and it's kind of leading up to here as you can see we got one dude right here one dude right there i don't know and then i got like this uh insert i don't know so anyways on on the list to be read and then this one i'm actually currently reading and then like actually kind of like almost done um kingdom of the feared by carrie meniscalco uh, this series is really good. I personally really enjoy it. It's, I don't 
don't know the first book was really fun because you just got like thrown into like Italy and to like the food and just really cool second book you're a little bit more into the realm of the um princes like the princess of hell and then this one it, it's it's elevated okay there's a lot going on in this one and to be quite honest at this point in the book I'm not sure how I feel about it I've seen so many people give it like five star ratings but then I also saw someone give it a two star rating and I feel like that's kind of it, I'm not leaning towards a two but it's not what I was expecting so I'm hoping that the ending can save it okay and then this one this book under the whispering door by tj clune <sighs> i've been reading so many wholesome books this past like few months and i'm like okay you know what i know i have a good wholesome book sitting in my shelf from tj clune and i should just read it especially because i know that this is the signed edition so like i feel even cooler having it it says signed edition but where's the signature Oh, literally first page, okay. But anyways, um, he wrote House in the Cerulean Sea, and that is one of my all-time favorite books I've ever read in my whole entire life. It is the most wholesome hug in a book. Like, it just wraps you up in a blanket and just comforts you. I'm expecting this to be the same way, so I'll read you this. Welcome to... Oh crap, is it Karen? Sharon's Crossing. Karen's Crossing. The tea is hot, the scones are fresh, and the dead are just passing through. When a reaper comes to collect Wallace from his own funeral, Wallace begins to suspect he might be dead. And when Hugo, the owner of a peculiar tea shop, promises to help him cross over, Wallace decides he's definitely dead. But even in death, he's not ready to abandon the life he barely lived, so when Wallace is given one week to cross over, he sets about living a lifetime in seven days. Hilarious, haunting, and kind, Under the Whispering Door is an uplifting story about life spent at the office and death spent building a home. So, I guess. Is this one of the books I may have already read? Maybe. This is like my last physical read. Excuse me. Um, is a holly jolly Diwali, and I really hope that this like kicks off my like holiday romance book ones like romance reads. I only have one other one for December uh, that like I own, and I think it's called Always in December. So of course I got to read that in December. But a holly jolly Diwali, holly jolly Diwali. Um, I have a lot of coworkers that celebrate Diwali and I believe it's already passed at this point. Um, so I'm like even more like interested in reading this because of that. And I'm so excited. But yes, this is what I want to read. And I know I just said contemporary romance, not my thing. Okay, but it, when it's like holiday, when it's a holiday, right? Like Christmas theme, like Hallmark movies. Come on. And those like I'm a sucker for those okay I'm a sucker for those themed ones so anyways <laughs> not to like bite my own words or like contradict myself but I'm really excited to read this and all the future Christmas books like romance books all right guys that is pretty much my um expectations to read I so I guess I better stop filming edit and then start reading. And I will see you guys in this vlog.